et la palme d'or du court-métrage est attribuée à « All these creatures » de Charles Williams. So uh, my name is Charles Williams, I'm from Australia and my film is called All These Creatures. The film's about how all of us try to reevaluate our parents as we get older. I think also if you have a parent that's particularly destructive or violent, volatile, it makes a really big impact on you and as you get older you try to see them more as a, a, a human being rather than this myth that you dealt with. And the lead character in this film is looking back on his memories of his father and trying to understand if he was a bad person or a sick person or what kind of person he was outside of just his impact on him as a parent. The film's come from just obsessions that I've had for my whole life, I think. I've always thought about these questions. It's trying to figure out when you have a parent that's, that leaves a big impact on you, what you can do to not be that kind of person, and if you have any control over it at all. I think Maxo Fools and Jean Renoir, Martin Scorsese, of course. The Earrings of Madame D, Goodfellas, Taxi Driver, The Age of Innocence, Vertigo, Rules of the Game. Barry in Atlanta. I, I don't know if this is the right answer, but I, the, the thing that comes to me is less about a filmmaker and more as a person. And I think there's a crossover. Because I always have to remind myself to not be defensive. And I think that's a thing that, you, you, that I need to always remind myself about. You know, you can very quickly get, it's very bad for creativity, very bad as a filmmaker. Because you're attacked a lot when you're a filmmaker. You're attacked by the weather, by the conditions, by the people you work with. You feel like everyone, and it's not, you cannot accept that as in a defensive state. Because it cuts off your ability to be creative. So the one thing I think I need to hold on to and that I want to remind myself of the most is that you should never be defensive. Good one, I hope. I think for me, like, and this film is a lot like that as well, is that you have to adapt to each piece. Sometimes you have to literally read a line for somebody and get them to do it exact. You have to make everything very precise. And sometimes you have to let it all go. That you can't be one way or the other. You know, like on one hand, you've got John Cassavetes and on the other hand, you've got Hitchcock. But I think the filmmaker I want to be is the one that has both. You can have this kind of explosive, actorly freedom. I love actors when they're just out of control. But I also love filmmakers that are very Precise. So I like to try and combine the two so that you've got this kind of a documentary realism mixed with a kind of disciplined cinematic approach. Psycho. After all, Cassidy, I told you, all that cash, I'm not taking the responsibility. It's an incredible honour, but it also feels to me like a, a really important opportunity and responsibility. I want to live up to the expectations that come with being selected in Cannes. I think it's, it means a great deal to me and uh, the festival is really important to me. So I want to make sure that the festival is proud of me and they're proud of the work that I go on to do from here. But Cannes is, for me, it's the mecca of great cinema. It's not a festival, it's where, it's the birthplace of the great, like you just said, like the great directors, the great filmmakers. And to even have a short film that's a part of that world gives you a great, like it's a very, it's a very big deal. So to me, it means that at least they think that you are worthy of being a part of that world. And uh, I don't know that I think that, I don't feel that way, but I want to make sure that I can try to live up to that. I almost cried, very excited, overwhelmed, and um, yeah, like a dream. I reckon I was about 11, and I, on TV I saw just a little clip of a movie, and I, I didn't know what it was, but it was terrifying. And it wasn't a scary scene, but I just didn't, it was like the movie was coming out of the screen at me. There, there weren't, there was not fake. You know, the movies that I'd seen up to that point were very Hollywood and very gloss, but this movie, and I only saw this scene, and then I went to bed, and then I thought I dreamt, and a year later, I saw it again, I saw this, I was like, oh, this, I didn't dream it, this is real. And I watched some more of it, and this movie's Goodfellas. And there's something in that movie that changed my thinking 
thinking about movies. There was something so direct and honest about the way they, and very similar to my own family, about the way that people spoke to each other, that it just didn't feel like pretend. It felt like people really meant what they were doing. And it was combined with a kind of lyrical, almost musical cinematic style. So I think that when I finally watched the full film, I think I was the same person after watching that film. That film, yeah, that was a big impact. I haven't made that movie yet.